Well, interest rates also on the rise, looking to try and turn inflation around. The Fed is boosting a key rate by three quarters of a percent. That's the biggest single hike in nearly 30 years. And Fed Chair Jerome Powell said the same kind of increase could be on the table at next month's Fed meeting if inflation doesn't slow down by then. ABC's Mona Kosar Abdi has the latest. With inflation the number one issue of concern for most Americans and no relief in sight when it comes to gas prices, new reaction to the letter President Biden sent yesterday to big oil executives blaming their corporate greed along with the war in Ukraine for the record high prices at the pump. The president warned the executives he could invoke emergency powers to increase output at refineries, writing, quote, profit margins well above normal being passed directly onto American families are not acceptable. But the White House is not sharing how the president might use his executive powers. We are calling on them to do the right thing, to be patriots here uh, and not to use the war uh, as an excuse. Oil refinery capacity is down by 3 million barrels a day since 2020. But the American Petroleum Institute blames Biden's green energy push, claiming the administration's, quote, misguided policy agenda shifting away from domestic oil and natural gas has compounded inflationary pressures. And as for those record profits, oil companies are saying they're making up for big losses during the pandemic, like the $22 billion loss ExxonMobil reported in 2020. Any revenues that are being made right now are being made up to uh, balance out losses from back in 20 and 21, and also to now begin reinvesting. In the meantime, stock futures were up overnight after the Federal Reserve's latest move to bring down inflation, raising interest rates by three quarters of a point, making everything from car loans to credit card debt more expensive. Fed Chair Jerome Powell says it's still possible to avoid a recession, but a growing number of economists disagree. I think that events of the last few months have raised the degree of difficulty, created great challenges. And there's new evidence of the toll inflation is taking on the economy. Retail spending unexpectedly dropped last month. Mona Kosarabdi, ABC News, New York. Inflation also taking a bite out of retail sales. The Commerce Department says they were down 0.3% last month compared to April. That drop driven largely by slower car sales.